beside me and then he just like plop over onto my lap and ask me, Do you want to go on a staycation with me? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you have any first date stories? Um, okay, I haven't been on many first dates in my life, but I met this guy and then he came to pick me up in his dad's car. He looked quite different from his dating app profile picture. His dating app profile picture, like, wow, cute looking, you know, like the, he run his own startup, like, very studious. But in real life, he looked like a weep. Then after when we went on the date, we went to eat fried chicken. So we were queuing, right, he was like nervous. Then he like play with the decorative things, right? He dropped the stuff. I think we like sort of like, enjoy each other's company lah. But then I texted my good friend, I was like, I think this guy can be like just normal friend. We get along, but uh, he just looks quite different now from his profile picture. I think maybe his profile picture took a while ago. Then uh, five years later, we bought a house together. Oh my god! <laughs> Give the nerd a chance! <laughs> why we went on like another date is also because he was very genuine, he was very sincere. Unlike the other like first dates I've been on, which is like... <laughs> so I've been like on dating apps for a while and I've been on a couple of few dates with a couple of different people and this was definitely the worst first date I've been on. So he was basically a gaslighter, um, a cheap skate, <laughs> and he also was super super touchy. So for the first day he wanted to bring me to Marina Barrage for some drinks and we both happened to stay in the same area which is Pretty far, like a one hour journey to Marina Barrage. Okay, so actually I offered to drive us there. He didn't let me drive, insisted that we take public transport, which is fine. On the way there, he was so touchy. When he was telling stories to me, he would just like draw on my thigh. Then we went to eat at Marina um, Bay Sands first. We went to a food court, which is also fine, but he had to justify that like, Oh, I would love to take you to a nice restaurant here, but like, um, I think it's a bit too late and like, everywhere is full. And it can't be that every single restaurant is full. And honestly, I don't want to go to a fancy restaurant on the first date also because I feel very pressured and I don't want you to pay for me. But you didn't have to justify that to eat at the food court. Before we went to Marina Barrage, we, he went to buy some drinks. Since he's the one who wanted to drink, right, so he paid for the drinks. And then afterwards, he wanted to take a grab to Marina Barrage instead of walk there. So he asked me, Since I paid for the drinks, can you please pay for the ride? Which, honestly, I wanted to suggest, I wanted to offer to pay. but. The fact that he asked me to pay for it is like, we can also just walk there, but you want me to pay for the grab? So, yeah, I ended up paying for the grab. When we were there, he was still trying to be very touchy. And even at Marina Bay Sands, he would like put his hands on my waist, on the escalator and stuff like that. On the first date, it's the first time I'm meeting this guy. I would try to like back away and stuff. And then he told me, Do you know that you're like one of the least touchy girls I've ever met? I don't know what kind of girls you've been meeting. Because, this is not normal, right? He even asked like, Can I kiss you? <laughs> then I was just like, um, no. I'm not even comfortable with you touching me and you want to kiss me. That makes no sense. It wasn't even the worst part of the date. So we were gonna go home and he was like, You didn't want to call a grab back to your house? So basically, he's asking me to pay and then he'll just hitch the ride back to my house and go home from there so that he doesn't have to pay for the grab. And it was only like 8 plus that night. I just said, there's still public transport. I don't mind just taking a train back. Then he's like, Oh, never mind lah. Like, that means like, you don't pay, right? I'll just book lah. Um, I offered to drive from the start. If you just have let me driven my car, we will not have to waste so much money. It's over 50 bucks for the grab. And the fact that you're putting it on me to pay for it, and then while waiting for the grab, he had the audacity to lie on my lap. He was sitting beside me and then he just like, plop over onto my lap and asked me, Do you want to go on a staycation with me? Then I was just like, um, I think I made it very clear that I'm not comfortable with all this skin share and everything, so I'm definitely not comfortable with a staycation. And he's like, but it'll be a wholesome staycation, we won't do anything. After all that happened, then what happened? Did you like block him or like? We just stopped talking. I think after that he got the hint, yeah, that, you know, I'm not interested. Lah. So he also backed off. Okay, I've gone on a couple of first dates before, but let's talk about my 
first ever official date. For context, when I was younger, I had this crush on a guy and I had this crush went on for three years. Three years, okay? You can do a lot in three years. I never thought he liked me or whatever, but then we started hanging out and stuff, but I never thought it was anything romantic. Anyway, one fine day, we went out again. This date was a little bit weird. I think we went to a slightly nicer place to go and eat, just do normal things lah. So I didn't think too much of it. Normally he doesn't carry a bag. You know normally guys don't need to carry bags, they just keep things in their pocket. Then today he was carrying a bag. I was like, that's kind of weird. I didn't want to question it. Maybe he just has like snacks in there or something. But anyway, we took the MRT together because we live in the same direction. I was getting off the MRT at my stop. Then he said, I'm gonna go and like settle something like in this same area, I'll get off with you. So I thought to myself, okay, cool, like, yay. Like, more time to spend together with my secret crush. Even though I'm pretty sure he doesn't like me. They were walking towards my house. Then there's a zebra crossing. So I got onto the zebra crossing. Then just as I got off, right, suddenly, I heard a kerfuffle behind me. Got, got like, and I was like, what happened? Did my my this lovely boy get like like knocked by a bicycle? Then I turn around, right? Then he's holding a rose. Like, first thought was, is that rose for me? Second thought is, oh my god! Guys, you don't understand. I had a crush on him for three years and I didn't think he liked me, but then suddenly got rose. But then I'm an overthinker. So in my brain, I was like, why that rose is not for me? Why did he pick it up off the floor and now he's holding it? And then suddenly I overreact. Then it shows him that I like him. Then he told me that he liked me. And I was like, oh. Oh my god! I paused for very long because I was so stunned. I think I really stunned for 3 minutes. So I was just standing there doing this. Finally, I like spotted out a very small like, I like you too. After that, we started dating. So that's the story of um, my first date. But unfortunately, that date um, also ended in disaster because now we are exes. Oh, that's so many first dates. There's one that was very memorable. Uh. My happy place is Kinokuniya at Taka. Cause it's all books everywhere, right? And he also liked to go there and buy books. So we went to Kino. We walked in, we went to our own sections, right? Go and like find our stuff. So I was just reading at my own section after a long while. He messaged me, he asked me like, where are you at? Then I say, um, I'm done. Where are you? And then he messaged me, listen up. Then I'm like, listen up what? Suddenly, Ding, 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 ding. Paging for Stephanie Leong, your boyfriend is waiting for you at the cashier. I was like, ah! first number one, like he knows my pet peeve is people calling me Stephanie but he purposely disturbed. And back then, like, we were not officially together yet, like, we were dating exclusively. So when he said that, I was like, <laughs> it was so cute. But after that, I realised like, where's the cashier? So I had to go to the information counter and ask them like, um, where's cashier A? Then the whole counter laugh at me eh! But like, I thought like it was really cute lah, the whole situation. So that was, I would say like our first date memory that I really treasure a lot. Okay, so I met my fiancé on OkCupid. Okay so our first meetup, I would say that it went really well because I have had many, many, many online dating first meetups over the years. But for him, I was actually the very first one that he met up with. And in his eyes, it did not go that smoothly. TLDR, due to my resting bitch face, he says that when he first saw me, I looked very pissed off. <laughs> I feel like I was being normal and friendly and like I still smile, you know. But yeah, when he when he came and said like, hey, the the table is ready for us, then I was like, okay. But apparently I was not like enough for him. I feel like the convo was good, it was smooth. But there was this one hiccup where I told him, okay, let's go and pay, and then I need to go to the restroom afterwards. And I know that the restroom is located right beside the cafe. Then he was like, no, no, you want to go toilet, you go first. Like, you come back, then we pay. Then I was like, why? Then there was like this whole back and forth where he wouldn't want to let me pay first. Then I got a bit pissy. <laughs> I was like, fine, if you insist, then I shall go to the toilet first. Then I went to the toilet, come back and sit down. And then there was a bouquet of flowers on the table! Because when I met up with him, he was like, you know, not carrying flowers, but he arrived way early to tell the staff like, oh, can you help me like, hold on to this bouquet and keep it fresh so I can surprise her. Then I felt really bad for getting pissed off. <laughs> it was a great date. It, I feel like it had everything, like a good meal, proper serious convo where you can get deep and know each other. I hate movie first dates. I don't think you should sit in a dark room in silence next to a stranger for two hours. Another not so great point is that when I tried to go in for like the goodbye hug, I was like, okay, thank you for the date. And usually people will like reciprocate, right? But then he was like, thank you! And then he ran into his train and I still remember standing there at the station like, okay, that just happened. 
But yes, now we're engaged, so all is well. Whee! Thank you for watching this video. Let us know in the comments what else you'd like us to share about. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye!